Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. Let's talk about IgE and IgE testing. Great Plains has a panel called the Immune Deficiency Panel that looks at all the different immunoglobulin levels, IgG and its subclasses, IgM and IgA, as well as a marker for IgE. Now, I'll often find IgE elevated in many cases with kids on the spectrum, but other patients as well, sometimes with a history of asthma or allergies, sometimes not. But when it is elevated, I want to do a further assessment to figure out maybe where it's coming from. So when I find that IgE elevated, um, or I have a history, for example, of a patient with, with allergies or asthma, etc., I'll commonly do the food IgE panel to see if there's an allergy to food, which is certainly important, particularly things like peanuts and wheat and milk, etc., as well as the inhalant allergy panel as well to see if there's any type of environmental exposure to pollens, to grasses, to trees, to animals, etc. So the IgE is important because we know it's a direct stimulant of allergy, which can also be, a, you know, is a direct stimulant of inflammation. Now, many times individuals will have increasing food sensitivities, um, where they just, you know, continue to re react negatively to a variety of different foods. In many cases, those sensitivities can be detected through an IgG food sensitivity panel. But in addition to that, I'll do the IgE panel as well to say, hey, do we have any type of reaction from an allergy standpoint that I know can be real problematic and sometimes very dangerous, uh, particularly if it's, it's a substance that we know can trigger you know, anaphylactic reactions. So again, if you find the IgE elevated, consider doing the inhalant allergy panel as well as the food IgE panel to see if you can detect what may actually be stimulating that, stimulating that IgE to be elevated. Thanks.